if you want to understand what Christian worship is, I can't recommend a more foundational book for that than Exodus. There's a lot of biblical books that you could look at, but I would begin with Exodus because it's there where God lays down exactly how he wishes to be worshipped, what happens in worship, what goes on when God and his people come together. And one of the core texts that explains what worship is all about is at the very end of Exodus 29. It's one of the chapters we read today in Bible in one year. Now listen to some of the language that God uses when he's describing what happens when sacrifices are offered every morning and every evening at the altar of the tabernacle. God says, that's where I will meet with you to speak to you. This place will be sanctified by my glory. I will consecrate, that is make holy, the tent of meeting. I will consecrate Aaron's sons to serve as priest. Here I will dwell among the people of Israel. I will be their God. All of that language describes what happens in worship. This is where God meets with us. This is where he speaks with us. This is where he sanctifies us. He dwells among us to be our God. That's why God wants us to come together as the body of Christ to worship, so he can meet with us and speak with us and sanctify us and be our God. That's the core of what worship is. Not so much what we do for God, but what God gathers us together to do for us in Jesus Christ.